Major banks pumped billions into First Republic to keep it from collapsing with guidance from the Treasury Secretary. Chief Business Correspondent Rebecca Jarvis tracking all the developments. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning, George. This is real weather, a real winter for the financial markets happening here. 11 major banks jointly depositing $30 billion of their own money into First Republic Bank in an effort to stop another bank failure and send a clear message. They are confident in the banking system. This morning, some of the largest banks in the country racing to save First Republic as it teeters on the verge of collapse. Major financial institutions, including JP Morgan, Citigroup, Bank of America, and Wells Fargo, banding together to pump $30 billion into First Republic to help save it. The extraordinary joint action trying to defend the entire U.S. banking system against panic by refusing to let First Republic fail. The deepening crisis leaving some customers rattled. What are you doing with the people that are investing with you? Because you make it sound like you have everything covered, but at the same time, it feels like they're just playing with our cash. The news coming after reports from the Wall Street Journal that top executives at First Republic sold $12 million in stock in the months leading up to the crash. First Republic telling us they have no comment. It's been just a week since the sudden failure of Silicon Valley Bank. The Department of Justice and the Securities and Exchange Commission are now conducting independent investigations into the collapse. And just this morning, Silicon Valley Bank's parent company filing for bankruptcy. On Broadway, many productions reportedly scrambling after the closure of Signature Bank, a medium-sized New York-based bank used by as many as half of all Broadway shows. But on Thursday, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen reassuring a Senate panel. I do believe the banking system in the United States is sound and resilient. But Yellen still is issuing this warning that any bank facing an overwhelming run on deposits can be put in danger of failing no matter what guardrails are in place. That $30 billion in deposits, they are obligated to stay at the bank for at least 120 days, according to an announcement from First Republic. There's no comment now from Signature Bank executives in their stock sales, George. You said this was a sign of confidence in the banking system, but this is a big move from the banks. It's a big move, and it's a confidence game that we're talking about here. As you just heard there from Treasury Secretary Yellen, no bank can withstand a run on their deposits. Any bank that's put in that kind of danger is going to face that question of failure, and that's why we're seeing this right now. These banks, the big ones, they recognize this position that they're in right now and the position the financial system is in, even though they believe that they're in a sound place, much better off than the 2008 financial crisis. Right, but if they stick together, crisis. the whole system does better. Exactly. Rebecca Jarvis, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.